Hello, in this video we're going to look at some advanced camera techniques in Unity. Um, so we're going to look at how to add a camera to an object or attach a camera to an object in your game. Um, how to uh, add a split screen camera system and also how to add a picture in picture effect to your game. We'll also look at um, audio listeners as well. Um, Okay, so to start with, what we'll do is we'll add a camera to an object. So I actually have already in the scene a first person controller here, which has a camera attached to it. Um, so I've just disabled this first person controller just by unchecking that little box there. So this is not really going to be used in this scene. Okay, I have some water, I have a directional light, I have terrain, and I have two cameras here, a main camera and a second camera. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new object and I'm going to attach a camera to that object. So um, there'll actually be another camera in this scene. So I'll go up to game object and 3D object and you could do this with a character um, or some other random object in your game but I'm just going to create something simple here like a sphere. So I'll click on sphere. Okay, and I'll just double click on sphere in the hierarchy to focus on it. Okay, so I've got a simple sphere here. There's no texture or anything applied to it. Now, if I go down to add component, and then, so in the inspector, I click on add component while the sphere is selected. And then I'm just going to click on rendering and then camera. And now I have a camera added to my sphere here in the inspector panel. Okay, so that's basically how you add a, um, a camera to an object in your scene. When you add a camera component to an existing object, it won't automatically give you the um, GUI layer, the flare layer, or the audio listener layer. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, okay, so I've got this camera here which is attached to my object. So if I grab the rotation tool and move this sphere around or rotate it, you can see that in the camera camera preview here, the camera also um, rotates with that object. Okay, same if I use the move tool, move it up or down, you can see the camera moves as well. If I move it across, left and right, the camera also moves with the sphere object. So the camera is completely attached to that sphere. Okay, one thing I did want to mention was um, with um, when you've got multiple cameras in your scene, you might get a warning in the console saying that there are multiple uh, audio listeners detected. And a scene basically can have only one audio listener. So if you have multiple audio listeners, then just disable everything, um, disable the audio listeners on all of the other cameras except um, probably your main camera. So here I've got my main camera. The audio listener is, um, that's checked. I've got the second camera here, and this one's unchecked. What I might just do is check that audio listener um, checkbox there. Okay, um, and so I've got two audio listeners there now. Might just run the game. Okay, now the game runs, but notice that there is an error message down here saying there are two audio listeners in the scene. Please ensure that there is always exactly one audio listener in the scene. So you might get the scene to run, but you'll get error messages. So what you can do is um, decide which audio listener you want. So I've got one here on the main camera. If I go to my second camera, I can disable that one, uncheck the box, and then I can just go and clear those error messages from the console, and I shouldn't see that error message again. Okay, so the scene can have only one audio listener in it. Um, one other thing I'll just quickly show before we go to um, split screen cameras um, is the depth. So if you have multiple cameras in your scene, so I've got this one here, I've got the sphere, okay, so I've got a camera view from the sphere, I've got the second camera, and I've got the main camera. But if I click on play or run the game, we can see we well, we get this camera view here, which is in the main, whoops, it's in the second camera scene. So that's what we just saw there. What we see here in the camera preview, that's what we actually saw when I just tested around the game. So 
Um, why don't we see the main camera? Why do we see the second camera and not the main camera or the sphere? Well, it's got to do with the depth. So whichever camera has the highest depth, that's the one that will display. But these two cameras here, they ha both have a depth of zero. So main camera has a depth of zero. You can see that down here. And the second camera also has a depth of zero. If we go to the sphere, it also has a depth of zero as well. So say if we want the main camera to display and we don't want to display the second camera or sphere camera, we want the main camera to be on top. Well, we can go to the main camera in the hierarchy and we can change the depth to something higher like one and hit return. And now if we go and play it, then the main camera should show up there and it does. Okay. So that's the main camera there that was displaying. And that's because it has a higher depth. So whichever camera has the highest depth, you'll see that on top. And so because these cameras are taking up all of the screen, we're only seeing that main camera on top because it has the highest depth. Okay, just change that back to zero. This time what we're going to do is we're going to add a split screen camera system. So. Um, what I'll do is I'll just delete this sphere because I don't want that camera there anymore. And I've still got this first person controller. Um, I've still got that disabled. If we click on that little arrow next to it, you'll see that the first person controller has a camera co component there on the first person character. Okay, so the camera component is enabled, but because it's a child of this FPS controller parent, which is disabled, that means that that camera won't be used. So we've only got these two cameras here and they're both enabled, okay? So main camera and second camera. So what we're going to do is we're gonna have this main camera here taking up the top half of the screen and we're gonna have the second camera taking up the um, bottom half of the screen. So we've got the main camera, which is um, located over here. And we've got the second camera which is located over here. But notice, just so that it's clear, the difference between each camera. They're both in different positions and they both even have a different skybox. So one has a sunny sky and the other one has a um, sunset skybox. Okay, so we've got a main camera and a second camera. Okay, so the main camera is gonna take up the top half of the screen. So that's the one with the sunset skybox. So to make this take up the top half of the screen, firstly, we're gonna change the depth. So we're gonna change the depth to minus one. Okay, and then we've got this property here, viewport rect, okay? And it's, there's actually a few properties there. There's X position, Y position, um, width and height, okay? So we're going to leave the X and Y position as zero. So that's actually where the camera will begin drawing. So X is in the top corner of the screen um, and Y is in the top corner of the screen because it's zero as well. So they're both in a position of zero, um, X and Y. So it's, it'll start draw, drawing the camera from the top half of the screen, from the top corner, sorry. Okay, width and height. We'll leave the width as one, but we'll change the height to 0 0.5, which means that it will take up 50% of the height of the screen. So the width will be the full width of the screen, 100% of the width, and the height will be 0 0.5. So that means it's gonna take up 50% of the height of the screen. You can see here in the camera pre preview, it's now gone really wide, okay? All right, we'll go to the second camera. And again, we'll change the depth to minus one. Okay, and we'll go to viewport rect. And the X position, X position will be zero, but the Y position will change to 0 0.5. So this means that the camera will begin drawing from halfway down the screen. So from the, it'll take up the bottom half of the screen. Okay, so it'll start drawing um, right at the left side of the screen and across, but it will start from the middle and draw down. So it's only taking out that bottom half. Okay, we'll go to the width. We'll leave the width as one, so it's taking up 100% of the width of the screen. But the height, it's going to take up half of the height, or 50% of the height of the screen, so 
and it's going to be 0 0.5. Okay. Okay, now we can just run the scene. All right, there we go. So we have um, the main camera taking up the top half of the screen here, and we have the second camera taking up the bottom half of the screen. So this is all in the same scene, but we've got two cameras in two different positions with two different views, and one camera, this bottom camera here, actually has a different skybox. So having a split, key, split screen camera system is really useful if you want to have a multiplayer game because you can have two characters, one character, one player, sorry, is using the top half of the screen and the other player is using the bottom half of the screen. And you can also give them um, different, you know, different views. So you could use different skyboxes and use different layers for each camera. Okay, layers is something that we're going to have a look at in another tutorial. So we'll stop running that scene, we'll stop running that game. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how to use a picture-in-picture -picture effect. Okay, so a picture-in-picture -picture effect is where you have one camera taking up the whole screen, but you have another camera that is just taking up a small portion of the screen. So usually in one corner of the screen. Now it can be really useful um, if you want to have like a camera that's looking behind the character or behind the player. So maybe if it's a car game, you could have a camera um, as like a rear vision mirror that can see behind the car um, if it's some sort of racing game. Um, or you, it could also be useful for a map. So you could have a picture in picture effect where you have a camera up in one corner of the screen and that's showing the map and where you are on the map. Um, so remember you can also um, enable and disable different layers or show and hide different layers for different cameras and that's something that we'll look at in the next tutorial. So picture in picture effect, what we're going to do is we're going to use these two um, same cameras from before. This time we're going to go to the main camera, we're going to keep the depth as minus one but with this viewport rect properties we're going to um, have the X and Y position both as zero, the width and the height both as one. So we've just got to change the height here to one. Okay, go to the second camera. So that, that's the main camera. It's taking up the um, entire, entire screen. And we've got the second camera here. And we're going to change the depth to zero. And the X and Y positions will both be 0 0.75, 0 0.75 for each. And the width and the height will both be 0 0.2. Now you can fiddle around with these settings. Um, but basically, what this will do is it will start drawing this camera at 0 0.75 on the X position. So somewhere over here and 0 0.75 on the Y position, okay? So it's gonna be over in this area of the screen. Um, now, the width is going to take up um, 0 point, it's gonna be 0 0.2. So the width will be 20% of the screen and the height will be 20% of the screen space as well. Um, so that's all we need to do. Now we can just run this scene. There we go. So we have the main camera here taking up all of the screen real estate. And then we have the second camera up here um, just taking up, you know, this small portion of the screen up there in the corner. Okay, so that's a picture in picture effect. So you can see it'd be pretty useful if you had your main camera um, taking up all of this area here and you could be moving around. And then you could use this little space up here for either a map or for um, a rear vision mirror kind of camera setup or something else like that. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. So that's pretty much how to um, add cameras to objects, how to set up a split screen camera system and how to add a picture in picture effect to your game. Thanks for watching.